Hey guys, um, today's YouTube video is a leg and glute workout um, that I did at Future Fitness. Um, I don't have an intro yet for this YouTube channel. It's still in the works of being made, so bear with me. Um, I'm trying to make it cooler for you guys, but today's video just shows my workout, um, a part of my day, my lunch, and yeah, that's about it. It's going to be pretty short, but I wanted you guys to get a workout and try it out on your own, so make sure you write it down so that you can do it at your gym and then let me know how it goes. I'm actually pretty sore from it because I did it yesterday, and um, it was a good workout. It wasn't very long either, so definitely write down the workout. Let me know what you think, and bear with me on the YouTube channel. I'm still um, working it out, trying to make it better for you guys. Thank you. Okay, so this is our hip warm-up circuit. I recommend this circuit when you are doing legs and glutes. Um, it is going to activate the glute, really warm up the hip so that you get better engagement while you are working out. Um, you want those muscles to be firing and really activated. So you're really going to feel these exercises here. The donkey kicks are really a, um, a glute exercise, a little bit of hamstring, and you want to do 15 each side. Then what you guys are going to do is a fire hydrant. So for the fire hydrant, you don't need to get your leg up super high. Um, you're just raising it up slightly, trying to activate the glute a little bit more. And the same thing as the donkey kicks, you're going to do 15 on each side. Try to keep your back flat as possible for this one. You're going to want to, you're naturally going to want to concave the back. Try to keep it flat, keep the body weight distributed throughout the hands and the knees. Next, after this, we have hip circles. So these are hip circles. This is a really good hip mobility exercise. If you sit all day, have tight hips, you really want to get them warmed up so that they can get in those squats and lunges deeper without injuring yourself. Warming up is always important before a workout. Don't ever skip it. Don't ever think you don't have to do it. Okay, so first in this set is banded lateral walks. You're going to do 15 per side. Make sure you're staying low the entire time. Here I'm using two bands. Um, you can use one band if necessary or no bands, depending on your level. I have the one around the ankles for added resistance just to make this a little bit harder. Next in this set, we have banded straight leg kickbacks. You're going to do 15 per side. Make sure to keep the foot flexed. Stand up straight, really kick it back, and, and activate that glute. This also includes the hamstrings, and you can also do this without a band. All right, lastly, we have banded jump squats. You don't have to use a band for these. This is just to add a little cardio burst to this set. I want you to do three rounds of these three exercises. Next, we have curtsy lunges. You're going to do 12 per side. Make sure you step back at an angle and drive through the static leg. Here, I'm using a 30-pound body bar. You can use dumbbells or a barbell if you like. Then, I supersetted the curtsy lunges with these dumbbell reverse lunges with a kick. You're going to do 8 per side because you're going to use very heavy dumbbells. You take your time, there is a lot of balance in this, and you can also do it without weights if you are a beginner. These two exercises you're going to do for three rounds as well. Next, we have banded duck walks, 20 forward, 20 back. Make sure you put the band below the knees, and you're going to squat down very low. Legs are close together, and you're taking little steps forward and little steps back. This is really going to activate your quads. Then to really get the hamstrings working, we're going to do TRX hamstring curls. You're going to keep your butt up in the air as much as you can and pull those heels to your hips. Really think about the muscle you're working. Next, we have weighted glute bridges. Keep the weight on your hips, go as low as you can, and extend all the way up, squeezing your glutes at the top. This also can be done on the floor if the elevated glute bridge is too much. Lastly, plyo step-ups. Just get that heart rate going, burn out those quads, and finish your workout nice and strong, 20 total.
Yum. Alright. What's up, guys? So, I just made it back. Well, I just made it to my mom's house. She lives near my gym, so in the middle of the day, I come here, take a shower, eat my lunch, and then I'll go back. Um, but I wanted to show you what I'm eating today. For my lunch, I have basmati brown rice, asparagus that was um, baked in the oven with onions and olive oil. And then I put lemon pepper seasoning on it. And then I have lentils that I made um, earlier last week. They're still pretty good. So I'm going to put a little hot sauce on this bad boy. My mom only has Texas Pete. So I'm going to use that. I usually like Red Frank's Red Hot, but this will be good. And then I have this, and then at Target, so I went to Target, oh no, I went to Target, Target, in my opinion, I have this conspiracy theory about Target that it's like designed to make women spend a ton of money when they get there, but I actually did a really good job. I only bought two things because I was only there to buy stuff for the gym, kombucha. You know how much I love my kombucha. Well, if you follow me on Instagram, you know how much I love kombucha. Um, it has a ton of probiotics, really good for your gut. It tastes good. It's kind of carbonated, so it's kind of like a substitute for soda, but a better substitute because it has this literally, this has two grams of sugar. It's only 30 calories per serving, and this is, has two servings, so it's only 60 calories for this. And all the ingredients, you know what they are. So, Organic raw kombucha, pure unsweetened cranberry juice, and 100% pure love. I love this brand. I've been trying other brands as well. Um, Health Aid is really good. It comes in a really cool bottle. Um, so yeah, try kombucha if you haven't. And you can also, I'm sure in your area, there is a place that you can buy their, where they make their own. In Annapolis, they have a place called Rutabaga Juicery, and they make their own kombucha, and it's pretty amazing. Um, so yeah, try it out. They're really good. Then all I bought otherwise for myself, I decided to buy this book, The Book Thief. I've seen it for a while. And I love reading. So I'm going to read it. If you have any good book suggestions, let me know. Um, I would love to know what you guys are into. So yeah. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. Make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel and if you could share it on your social media platforms that would be appreciated um, i would love for more people to watch it and for you all to let me know what you would like to see in the videos what kind of workouts you need help with things like that um because i do want to do more workout videos for you all so please let me know write it down in the bottom and see you in the next video